JF Sports. Let's talk boxing. Freddie Roach wants Pacquiao to fight Danny Garcia and Floyd Mayweather in 2016. Now, there's a problem with that. I see Danny Garcia happening, but as far as Floyd Mayweather rematch, well, the chances of that are very, very slim to none. Now, Roach doesn't necessarily have the say of who Manny Pacquiao is going to fight. As a matter of fact, it's all up to Bob Arum. But I don't think that Danny Garcia fight is impossible. If anything, that's probably as much exciting as it would be if Manny Pacquiao fights Amir Khan. But that's just my opinion. The Danny Garcia fight against Pacquiao should be exciting. But contrary to popular belief, and a lot of people have said, Danny Garcia has yet been tested at 147, even though he fought and won impressively against Paul Malignaggi. But a lot of people disagree that that win against Paul Malignaggi is enough as an addition to 147. Like I said, man, Danny Garcia is a good fighter. You know, and shout out to him and props for moving up in weight class. But Pali Malnaji was a test. And nowhere near better or solid as some of the fighters at 147. I mean, you got Keith Thurman, Kel Brook, hell, even Bradley, I would agree with that fight against Danny Garcia. But Pali Malnaji was, he might as well fight at 140. Now, like I said, Freddie Roach wanting Pacquiao to rematch with Floyd Mayweather. That fight is not going to happen. No way. Mayweather is fighting Berto in September. And actually, almost serious, 99%. That dude is going to retire. I mean, he's talking about his uncle Roger Mayweather's health condition at the moment. It's pretty much sealing the deal for him to retire. He doesn't want to get to that point where he suffers the same condition as his uncle. But it's not impossible for Floyd Mayweather to come out of retirement. He has done it before. It could still happen. I mean, Floyd Mayweather is only, what, 38, 39 years old? He could still come back. If mostly can come back out of retirement, sure, Mayweather can. And it would be, it would be sold, whoever he fights. A lot of people saying that even though the May Pack, the first one, was a disappointment, May Pack 2 would clearly still be a mega fight, so to speak. Now, it might not sell as much or as big as the first one, but guarantee, whether we like it or not, whether we pay for it or not, we will watch the fight. As I look into Pacquiao's career though, <clears throat> I mean, with a loss to Mayweather, with a shoulder injury, as they call it, shoulder gate controversy, we need to see Pacquiao come back in 2016. How he performs against American if that fight happens, then we can assume and predict the future. If Manny Pacquiao does a horrible performance against American, then maybe, maybe, just maybe, it's time to hang it up. If American pulls off an upset against Manny Pacquiao, then yes, it's time for Manny Pacquiao to hang it up. I wouldn't mind seeing Manny Pacquiao versus Danny Garcia, to be honest with you. I think Danny Garcia is a solid competitor, a solid fighter undefeated, hungry, young, I mean he's got all the qualities of a good boxer, he's got all the technique, style and skills, even though a lot of people question that Dan Garcia should have at least two losses in his resume, but that's past, that's over. I wouldn't mind seeing a Dan Garcia against Peterson again, rematch, I thought that was a good fight. 
even though Peterson, in my opinion, lost that fight. I mean, Peterson started late already before he started getting aggressive. But then again, Peterson, on a post-fight interview, he said that that was the game plan to tire Dan Garcia. But then again, that comes with consequences. You know, you could be very well off behind scorecards. I mean, unless you knock out Dan Garcia, you know, in the last few rounds, then so be it. But he, did, he failed to do that. But a lot of people would want a rematch, you know. A lot of people would want to see the rematch of Garcia versus Peterson. And like I said, I'm one of them. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. I thought it was a good match. But I highly doubt Dan Garcia and his father, Angel Garcia, would afford Peterson the rematch. Even Lucas Matisse was one of rematch with Dan Garcia. And that's all, that possibility also is slim to none. Being Angel Garcia not wanting his son to fight again. But I see Danny Garcia with Manny Pacquiao. 2016 probably, yeah, that's fine. But I don't see Mayweather. It's all up to Mayweather. It's not up to Al Heyman. It's not up to Leonard Ellerby or Floyd Mayweather Sr. Whether Floyd Mayweather Jr. retires or comes out of retirement and come back to the sport of boxing, it's all on him. He's always on boss. He dictates what happens. And obviously, he's always going to be Las Vegas cash cow. So, Freddie Roach wanting Danny Garcia and Manny, Pac and, uh, Manny Pacquiao in 2016, still has 2016, is, it's got some high probability. But, to hope for the Mayweather Pacquiao rematch. You might as well forget that fight. Now, Manny Pacquiao versus American is being mentioned lately. It's almost official, to be honest. But still, it's not official yet. I thought it was too, in the beginning. But we're still months away from the fight, or from being official, and still anything can happen. As we all know, Americans still talking about how he got passed over by Floyd Mayweather four times. We'll see what happens. But I definitely see Manny Pacquiao versus Danny Garcia. Let me know what you guys think. Drop me a comment. Please thumbs up my video. And as always, you guys take care. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.